Hi there and welcome to this feed info video where we will be investigating mineral absorption in poultry and the role it can play in gut function and sustainable production. My name is Mornay Bryant and I am the Perspectives Content Editor here at Feed Info. This video, which we have put together with support from Novus International, will uncover the importance of trace mineral supplementation in poultry diets and how this can contribute to environmental protection and sustainable production efforts. So to take us on this journey, I have with me today Hugo Romero, the Global Strategic Poultry Technology Manager at Novus. Uh, Hugo, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about yourself and what it is that you do at Novus International? Thank you, Mornay. It is a pleasure to be here with you and your viewers. Last May, I joined Novus as the Global Strategic Poultry Technology Manager. In this role, I serve as a link between our customers and the global R&D and also our regional technical teams in identifying solutions to customer challenges and new applications for our products to become a preferred partner for gut function and nutritional applications. Before joining Novus in 2021, I held the positions of technical manager at genetic companies like Hybro and Cobo Brazil, and I also was technical manager and nutritionist at Trau Nutrition in Latin America and in the US. I also previously coordinated the Animal Nutrition Graduate Program at the University of Antioquia in Colombia, and my doctorate in poultry science is from North Carolina State University, where I currently collaborate as an adjunct professor in the poultry science department. Perfect. Uh, so definitely the person to help us uh, dig a little bit deeper into the topic we are discussing today. Uh, talking about which, uh, let's kick off with exactly why trace mineral supplementation is so important in poultry production. Thank you, Morne. Uh, let me start with a traditional quote by Dr. Linus Pauling, a two times Nobel Prize winner. He said that you could trace every disease or ailment to a mineral deficiency. In the case of trace minerals like zinc, copper, and manganese, this can be explained because they play a crucial role in hundreds of enzymes, being an enzyme activator or also an integral part of the enzyme that we call metalloenzymes. With this, the this uh, these minerals contribute with gene expression, cell respiration, protein digestibility, protein synthesis, and also important metabolic functions in carbohydrate and lipids. All of this means that these trace minerals are very important for productive functions like growth, reproduction, bone quality, epithelial structure, and also meat quality. Nevertheless, these minerals have been overlooked uh, in fattening animals especially. Why? Well, because of the low inclusion rate. Keep in mind that we only add less than 220 ppm and also we use the cheap cost of the ITM sources, inorganic trace minerals. Nowadays, however, when the industry is moving to antibiotic-free systems and the industry is reaching this impressive performance that every year allows us to use less feed to obtain the same kilogram of meat or the same kilogram of eggs, having better bioavailability contributes to the successful growth and sustainability production of the modern broiler and layer strains. Great. Uh, now that we know a bit more about the importance of mineral supplementation, uh, let's chat about the factors that can actually affect mineral nutrition and absorption uh, in poultry and, and the role that mineral composition and the product's form can play here. Can you tell us a bit more about that, please? Uh, yes, Morne. Uh, Keep in mind that life evolved around trace minerals. And from the first microorganisms, the cells developed mechanisms to control and use trace minerals by a precise homeostatic mechanism. And in these mechanisms, chelation, how the trace minerals is bonded to a ligand, is pivotal to the enzyme function, protecting the cells and avoiding antagonisms, and also delivering this mineral to the cell transporter and to the site of action. This chelation is particularly important in the gastrointestinal tract by maintaining intact the mineral in the upper gut, protecting also vitamins and exogenous enzymes like the phytase. So therefore, 
the Mintrex with a two molecules of hydroxymethyl butydale analog is a bisquelate conferring two ligands and four bonds to the mineral, providing a key chemical structure to chelate, maintaining stability in the gut, delivering the trace mineral at the right place, and also supplying methionin equivalents through our methionin solution element. Uh, and now, uh, like you mentioned, the, the gut plays an important function um, in the absorption of micronutrients like trace minerals. Um, and I was wondering, what is the impact that improved trace mineral absorption uh, can have on gut function in poultry? Well, uh, Mintrex has a strong position in maternal diets, especially because nutritionists select top in class products. This is because uh, they are focusing in primary reproductive functions. So the impact is going to be in egg numbers, fertility, hatchability, and also in progeny development. However, Novus has enough data supporting even higher impact on the return of investment in broiler production. We did various, various trials studying the mode of action uh, using different challenging models. And we measure different physiological variables. And in all of these trials, significantly Mintrex improved gut morphology, gut integrity, microbiota profile, microbiota diversity, decreasing also inflammation. All of these produce at the end better production and better immunity. It's more relevant that all these physiological benefits consistently translate in better performance. In commercial trials with more than 6 million broilers, we have observed improvements in feed conversion between two to five points, higher body weight up to 100 grams, and even lower mortality, about 1.5%. So how does all of what we've discussed today, um, optimal trace mineral nutrition in poultry, how does all of this translate and contribute to environmental protection and, and, and more sustainable production efforts? Well, Mornet, uh, there are remarkable benefits where sustainability is concerned. First is the overall mineral use. According to studies, these trace minerals with enhanced bioavailability can offer up to 50% reduction in supplementation, which means less excretion and soil pollution. Therefore, birds that achieve genetic potential will lower trace mineral supplementation when fed Mintrex. It's possible. Novus Reduce and Replace strategy is founded on this concept of reducing the total trace mineral supplementation by replacing the inorganic trace minerals with this more bioavailable bisquelate. Secondly, the regulations facing the industry. Mintrex allows to meet new legislation challenges while supporting welfare. This is important in food path dermatitis and also protects uh, gut function. I'm going to give you an example with COP. The industry today is using in some countries like Americas and Asian countries between 125 and 150 ppm of copper using inorganic sources like sulfates or tribasic copper chloride. However, with Mintrex, using only 30 ppms, you can obtain similar performance. However, Mintrex can go beyond these effects by man maintaining vitamin and phytase stability and also reducing the nitrogen output. Lastly, there's an impact on medical intervention. Supporting gut function and welfare with Mintrex, zinc, copper, and manganese shows positive implications for the long-term sustainability of the poultry business. And what about bird health? Can improved mineral absorption help uh, producers tackle industry challenges like salmonella and necrotic enteritis, mycotoxins? How can uh, Mintrex play a role here? Well, it is important, uh, Mornet, to note that organic trace minerals are not a treatment for illness. However, they can play a part in contributing to an animal's response to the challenges you just mentioned. By studying the mode of actions, we've seen that animals fed these quality minerals, like bisquelates, can improve basic gut, gut function, strengthen immune response, 
and decreasing the negative reactions in the gut. All of this helps to prepare a bear for the day-to-day -day challenges it may encounter, as well as contributes to the sustainability of the poultry operation. Thank you so much for that, Hugo. Um, any final words that you would like to leave our audience with? Probably only to emphasize that in the feed industry, there's not a single product. So we don't have silver bullets, of course, to solve all the challenges a poultry or other animal protein producer may encounter. However, Mintres Biskillet is pivotal in sustainability, performance, and return of your investment. Once you can accurately prevent mineral interactions in the gut and deliver proper nutrition to the tissues, you can move easier to antibiotic systems, for example. And here, Mintrex can help to rationalize other feed additives that a nutritionist might consider depending on the challenge and depending on the local conditions. But the first step is understanding the challenge or the production parameter so our novice representative in every region can work with the integrators to be part of the holistic solution that put customers first. Thank you, Mormé. Thank you, Hugo, um, and thank you for joining us today and sharing your expertise with us on the importance of improving trace mineral supplementation in poultry, um, the effect that this can have on gut health, and how all of this combined can positively contribute to sustainable poultry production and improved blood health. Um, and thank you to our viewers for tuning in. Remember to keep up to date with the latest developments on this and, and more topics affecting the poultry industry. Join us on feedinfo.com. And to make sure that you don't miss any of our future videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel.